Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting research project which I am more than sure is going to result in a working model real soon. This research not only deals with a real world problem but also deals it quite interestingly. The project is about creating more realistic and expressive videos using AI. To do this, they have focused on the importance of motion in videos and there are two steps to it. So you see the first step is to train a track condition video model where we have first frame then we are going through the tracks and it is guided through the text prompt. For example, in this example you see it says two elephants in the jungle and then track condition video diffusion model takes in then we have this prompt the model with motion prompt like we have this object control on the left hand side it goes here and then you see the physics on the right hand side so what is happening here is that using text prompts alone to generate videos can be limiting so especially when it comes to capturing complex movements and actions as you can see here so they have developed this new way of controlling video generation using motion prompts. These motion prompts are like instructions that tell the AI model as how to move objects or cameras in a video. They can be sparse, providing general guidance or dense, offering more precise control in more depth as you can see on your screen. So let me scroll down a bit to show you a bit more examples. So there you go. Now they also have provided you some of the details as how you can read it for example you see that they are visualizing the tracks and first frame input on the left and generated video on the right as i explained you above especially i like this one i think this uh, control with geometry is the best one in my humble opinion <clears throat> so this is where they are tracking the mouse movement motion and drag by placing the cursor over there so for example you see so how good is that and then various uh, other examples where for example if you see here interacting with images now it's a very very simple way where there is a user input there is a motion prompt and a sample video you see there's a user input mouse is hovering over it and then wherever the mouse is being dragged they are creating a grid and then like this this is a grid in colored and then this is a sample video where it has converted into the uh, smoke just as per our motion of the uh, prompt. How good is that? Now, they also have created a system to translate high level user request into detailed motion prompts. This is called as motion prompt expansion. It is like a tool that helps users create complex motion prompts without needing to manually design them. So this demonstrates various applications of this technology including controlling camera and object motion, transferring motion from one video to another and editing images. The results also show promising performance and emergent behaviors like realistic physics. Overall really really good stuff for example you see in this one we are moving here and there here and there and the owl is moving similarly even the face movement is being done with this girl's photo. So let me scroll down look at this one just with mouse movement and look at this chess game how good is that so this is basically uh, camera control so let me click on more examples so these are more examples here there you go look at this elephant very very interesting and then there are some dolly zooms as you can see it's the same thing which i showed you earlier so this is primarily a framework for motion condition video generation that is leveraging flexible motion prompts, spatio-temporal trajectories that can encode arbitrary motion complexity. And prior to the previous models, this representation allows specifying sparse or dense motion for cameras, objects, or even full scenes. And all of these motion prompts, they expand to translate high-level motion request into detailed prompt. And the approach is quite versatile as you can see here not only you can do uh, motion control motion transfer image editing and also a lot of other stuff which you can see in other examples look at this one just with eye movement it is quite intricate too 
check this one out and then this is a motion transfer which i was referring to how good is that there are few others there you go you see for a still image you can simply just convert it into a video that is why i believe there will be a lot of applications of these amazing stuff look at this one and then there are some failure management too as you can see here and they you know a close-up of a green parrot and then text to image and then from their videos being combined there you go look at this one and then there are a few comparison which you can check out there are heaps of examples on the models page i could go on and on but i won't bore you with more but i believe one of the good paper which has a uh, research paper which has, which has come uh, in the recent days there is no code yet no model uh, but the good thing is that google deep mind is there university of Michigan, Brown University, so you see that all the big names are there. Really can't wait to have their model and how to use it as soon as it's out. I will create another video and I will show you exactly that. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.